Going way back, show with Money B, your home for classic hip hop, raw and uncut, and I'm chilling with no music. <laughs> there we go. As you can see, the set looks a little different. My co-host, the lovely Time Teasy, is not here. The Silver Fox that rocks DJ Always is not in the building, but we do have. I want to say we're we're. Uh, how you say we're blessed to have on the set? OG, my good friend, the legendary Laylaw, Laylaw Goodman from Above the Law, NWA, Ruthless Records, The Block, all that, you know what I'm saying? My guy, Laylaw, what it do? West Coast legend. What's good, fam? Hey, what's up, Tanya? I got your job. <laughs> <laughs> Laylaw say he got your seat, Tanya Teasy. He ain't giving it back. Yeah, it's all good. What's up, fam? Yeah, so... You know, Layla is is gonna um, host the show with me, and I'm glad he decided to come through because this entire show is, is gonna be dedicated to Ruthless Records. Because was it yesterday was Easy's birthday? Sunday. Sunday was Easy's birthday. He would have been 50 years old um, this past Sunday. Yeah. And um, you know, we just celebrating. So of course, our guest tonight will be none other than the DOC. He's gonna call in. <laughs> Doc, the diggy diggy doc y'all and cocaine's gonna hit us up and we might have a few special guests i want to say no names until they get here if they get here but we might have a few special guests but lay law you know normally what i do on the show is we kind of do a recap of the week what we did you know this past week and i just want to say this past weekend was sort of like a holiday to me because it was week one of the nfl season <laughs> anybody who knows me know i'm a football fanatic and more so than that niner gang is in the building wow, wow, you know wow. how we do and of course we put the smash on the cowgirls wow. what up swab <laughs> 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 we did the thing and later i know your team is the steelers they kind of like squeaked by they barely made it right but first of all Say Speak little, up, man. Say, I say, with, say it with a little bass in your voice, homie. The Steelers. The Steelers. Uh, quest for seven. Most championships. You know what I mean? Real organization. Right. You know what I mean? Sucker free. You know what I mean? And uh -oh. we good. Sucker free. That's what we See do. See it? That's us. Uh, that means something else. Yeah, you shouting us out. <laughs> Special <what> friend. <laughs> 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 That's what that be. You know what I mean? Not at all. Nah, so, yeah, they kind of got by there. But... You know, another thing that happened this past week, Layla actually took me on the set of the new NWA movie, Straight Outta Compton. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I got to see, like, you know, them doing their thing up there. I actually got to see one of the, a live scene. I don't know if we talk about the scenes, but when the movie come out, I was like, okay, this, this scene is going to be all right. And I met the cat that's going to play Easy e um, And who plays Jerry Heller? Uh, Paul, Something Jalopy Low or Paul, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. I yeah. said Jalopalo. He's, All he's that a, Italian he's, shit sound the same to me. He, he's a, a is that racist? Actor. Yeah, A-list actor, gotcha. man. <laughs> and he, as you saw that day. No, he he's definitely A-list act, actor. He was getting it in that day you was there. He did the thing. A real, 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 real deep scene. But so. I tell you what was the best part about that whole day is I actually ran into my cousin, who I never met before. Yeah. That, you know. He, I bring people together. Right. You know, his grandmother is my sister's grandma. I mean, my grandmother's sister, and I've known about him for years. He's, of course, he's known about me, and we, we but we've never met personally, and it's kind of wild that I ran into him on the set, and it, and it kind of sparked the whole family reunion kind of thing. So now yeah. families reaching out to each other. So Layla, thank you for that. Yeah, man, shout him out, man. Oh, 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 Dustin Felder. That's what's up. And and what he do. Oh, he's an acting coach, and he, he's the acting coach for, like, Will Smith, exactly. Jaden Smith, Big time. Idris Alba. Am I saying his name right? Yeah, 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 close enough. Like, a lot of cast that's deep in the game, so he's he's heavy in his field. And, and he's doing all the um, coaching for all the young actors on the NWA and he's doing, set. And he's keeping them in pocket, you know what I'm saying? So if you need the acting coaching, hit me up, because I got a real uh, OG. 
ready to do it. So, you know, we're going to do a lot. We're going to, and lot, I'm going I'm to talk to you even before we get DLC and cocaine on the line, just about Ruthless, because you were one of the founding members. You were around from the beginning. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about that. But right now, you know what we do. Plays one. It, it's yeah. the old school new news with Tom Teasy. That's your job. Time to easy. Hey. I heard you. You don't have my <laughs> Got your job. Got your it's... job. Okay, you're okay. in the beast now. Um, why does it sound like that? That's kind of loud. Can I start now? Yeah, please. Okay. So, last week I reported that, uh, CeeLo had voiced his views on rape. Do you guys remember that? Did you hear about I that? I hell I remember that. Yeah, that should have yeah. me surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you don't remember, let me refresh, refresh your memory. He said, if someone is passed out, they're not even with you consciously. So with implies consent. So after he made that statement, his reality show, CeeLo Green, The Good Life, has been canceled off of TBS. <laughs> I'm and sure. he's also been dropped from the Freedom Live event in Washington, D.C., hosted by the United States Navy. And he's also been dropped from a music festival in Louisiana. And oh, that's a, that according to TMZ. Yeah, I knew once he said that he was dead. Any thoughts? Because I was just like, it shocked me. I was like, no. <laughs> damn, <laughs> like, damn, 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 damn. Go ahead. <laughs> so Ja Rule is heading to MTV in a re new reality show. Um, it's going to be based on his family, and the title of the show will be Follow the Rules. It will star <laughs> his wife, his son, daughter, his son and daughter, his mother and mother-in-law. Queen Latifah and Irv Gotti are involved in producing that show. Okay. It sounds like it's going to be successful. You know, it seems like anything that Queen Latifah get involved with kind of work out, you know. True, on, on except the... that show with uh, Lisa Ray. <laughs> she said, except that which, show. Which show with Lisa Ray? That was uh, the girl, what was it, the girls? The, the, the oh, she, did, girl, she did that one, that little one that when it was on BET? Yeah. Okay. With Stacey Dash. Yeah, Stacey yeah. Stacey Dash. Yeah. So, Tretch of Naughty by Nature will appear on this Seasons Couple Therapy on VH1, and that will air tomorrow, Wednesday, and it will air every Wednesday at 9 Pacific Standard Time. Mm. I'll be watching that. Wait, who is that? Tretch. Tretch. Oh, yeah, you're going to watch you that. See, Couple you, Therapy. You, I've seen the commercials. Seen yeah, yeah. You know, Two Short was on that thing, too. Tatiji, what you think? Was, can, can we get on uh, Couple Therapy? I, don't, I think out. we could. I don't remember Short being know. on it, man. Short was on. I'll, I'll, Short I'll, was on. Tanya ended up right. Tanya ended up right racing me on, on the Knock show. Knock your ass up. <laughs> and, me and they drag you into the elevator. Yeah, she just salons me. That shit ain't We good. can't get on no elevators. Wow. That's for sure. So moving on, Warren G questions why he wasn't included on, on the How the West Was Won tour or concert. Mm -hmm. So he took to his Twitter page and expressed his, his concerns, saying, quote, while I was just informed that I am not a part of the sh of the of the show, How the West Was Won in Los Angeles, that that's the thanks I get. So the event will take place in Irvine on October 11th, and the performers will be Snoop Dogg, The Game, E-40, Exhibit, DJ Quick, Glasses Malone, The East Siders, Too Short, Problem and sugar free. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? Above the law should have been in there. Digital Underground should have been on it. Nah. That's how I feel. I mean, we no, would have been, but you no, know how that should be go. Featuring Digital Underground or Money Be of Digital Underground. Yeah, Money Be of Digital Underground. You know how that should go. But Above the motherfucking and, law. And so, lastly, Ice, Ice T's ex girlfriend Darlene Ortiz is writing a tell all book called Power. A true hip hop love story, my life with Ice T. Mm. And, and that's this week's old school new news on the Going Way Back show with my man Money B. And as always, you can find me on all social media at Ton T Z T O N underscore T E Z Y. And 
We are signing off. Say bye. There he <laughs> is. There he is. Hey, Todd Teasy. I, I want to yes. ask your opinion as far as how the West was won. Who would you who you want to see? I know besides E40. 40 not in it? <laughs> E40's on it. Is short on yeah. there? Yes, short is gonna be more. Okay. Well who who else? I mean um, King T. King T. King T could have been in there. The far side could have been on there. I mean the West was won by the time they came out. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Well <laughs> Ice Cube. Of course. I can I would like to honestly see and I'm not just being biased, but I would honestly like to see Digital Underground as a group of course, as a man. whole. Of course. I would. I would. Hey, Todd stay on the line because because uh, uh, Diva, she was she was asking about about the baby, and I said, well, she he, he gonna be on the show. I'm gonna see if she at the door because I wanted to see. You gonna stay right there? Yeah, I'll stay. Holler at him. See, he let me. Huh. So, I'm. Um, we- what the fuck? You gotta fill in, Law. Okay. You want my job? Ben you took your job. All right. So this one we're gonna do is just gonna play all my new music. This is a takeover. You know what I'm saying? Eh, time for break. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We gonna take a break. When we come back, man, we are gonna have the DOC. We are gonna have cocaine. It's a ruthless Dickie, Dickie. takeover, man. Right. You know, lay law in the building. It's going way back show. With Money B. It's the going way back show with Money B. And OG Lay Law in the building. And I'm pleased to have a special guest caller on the line. Caller, you there? Tell me what you want. Yeah. It's the DOC, the Diggy Diggy Doc, y'all. What's up, family? What's up, Money B? Oh, Money B. What's going on with you? Man, how long has it been? (laughs) Shit, too long. Too goddamn long. Well, yeah, I wish I I had my uh, DJ so we can get them hand claps. Of course, Laylaw's sitting in here. What's, uh, what's up, OC? What's up, Blair? Look at Lawhouse. Lawhouse. Lawhouse in the building. Now, we were talking a little earlier, um, Doc. Hey. And Law, you know, Law tells Doc, me. Doc, it, Doc, he, he getting, he's he long version ass motherfucker. Listen. No. We, we was riding together, and, and uh, we was talking about uh, uh, when you first came to L.A., when I picked you up at the airport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, you had a. Uh, some Dallas uh, gear. He said uh, Dallas. Not no Cowboys. Some cow- Not no <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. And we went to the Swap Beat. He said and you, you had tassels script. and shit on. And oh, a Cowboy yeah, hat. Like my, my, like my, my dude's a Texan. My dude's a Texan. Okay, so, so Doc, this is what I want to know. You feel me? Because you my partner. I'm, I'm looking at because earlier, you know, I'm, I'm preparing for the show. I'm, I'm, I'm getting all your videos together. And I'm, I'm looking at it. And, like, even on um, Funky Enough, you know, you got the L.A. King shit on. And you got the the, yeah. the Dickies and the he little the Dallas whatever. Show. I'm like, why you not representing Dallas? Like, did they say, hey man, you gotta wear this shit? Like, did they give you like the uh, the NWA outfit to put on before you? No, nah, they was they was trying to. No, nah, it's actually just the opposite. Stupid. They was trying to. They was trying to keep me out the motherfucking group, so I put that shit on. <laughs> so you couldn't tell me. You couldn't tell the difference, goddammit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. Uh, <laughs> you don't know, man. Doc was a, a, a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I know you Coast. was. Cause, and, and Doc, I, I know you probably don't know this, but our very, I'm talking about Digital Underground, our very first show that we did outside of the Bay Area was with you. It was in um It was in Saint, Kansas City. Saint, it was in St. Louis. It was like some wing St. Louis, right. It was hella hot. St. Louis, because I I'ma tell you how I remember that. Uh-huh. Because I rode in a limo with Tupac and that nigga didn't say not one word the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like that. For real. It was hot as hell. It was like third base. Um, you, us, and Mickey Howard, I believe. Believe it or not. Wow. I, I remember that. I do, I remember that. And I just remember I was I was so juiced because obviously you know our connection um, with Digital Underground and NWA and Ruthless was Adrian Gregory was the role manager for NWA so he would always tell us yeah. about everything that was happening so you know I, I followed I followed your career and everything that happened with NWA and Ruthless Records like really closely from the beginning so it just happened really fast for you you know what I mean one day he telling me like yeah this is about to happen next thing I know is the shit but once we got out there it was a trip because you know we had you know 
NWA was established, and we had other West Coast acts. And even though I know you're from Dallas, but you represented West Coast hip hop, it's like I'd never seen the hip hop community like gravitate like this nigga is a lyricist Doc, and Doc this is the special. next Doc is special. shit. You know what I mean? Doc is so special. Everybody too. went crazy. Hip hop. So, so how did fuck the I West guess, Coast? Doc is special to hip hop. My Doc. thing was, I, I uh, represented dope shit. I so didn't fuck where you was from. Right. As long as your shit was dope, nigga. And for me, Dre was my. Dre was musically what I was verbally. And right. I never wanted to leave that that comfort zone uh, because I knew that anything I could do, he could do. And he could make me sound so motherfucking cold. And, uh, it, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, speaking of, right? Uh, in, speaking of, I know, right? Speaking of, I my know, dude, right? You hear him back there? Where you, where you, where you at right now, man? I'm in the lab with the good doc. We working on some shit. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm so talking about. Got that, like, to, to this like day, he's in that space. You know what I'm saying? This dude is gonna, to this, this dude day. is gonna put some music out. So you in studio with Dre right space. now? You in studio with Dre right now? Y'all getting it in? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm so talking did you, about, So did you inspire, like, was Doc not working on music, and then you seen him, he's like, oh, shit, let's put the band back together. Like, how did that work out? <laughs> you know what, Trey got a billion dollars, and then he called me and said, <laughs> I miss you, nigga. <laughs> so when he said, I miss you, nigga, come back out of here, I hopped on the first thing smoking. That's what it do. Did you say, did you, did you, say, we, did you oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, nah, and we started working, and, and we've been... Shit, the last week we've been doing 14 hour days every right. day just working on his shit and it's popping so when he called you back and said i miss you did you like did you million dollar miss me <laughs> 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 all right you know they're getting it in did man. you, you hear Cause, me because because um drake told, yeah. drake told me he wasn't um in the studio a whole lot but then doc came to town right and and they energy connect because because it's always have connected Right, Doc. Doc is day one. Yeah, I know so that. So when they get around each other, you know what I'm saying? It it it, it, it do what it's supposed to do, and I can't wait for yeah, to see man, what, we, see what it do. We artists in this motherfucker. We are, we having fun, and the music is new. I brought a young cat with me from Texas, and uh, we pinning this nigga some really cold shit. And I would I wouldn't doubt if it was sooner than later. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like right around the corner, kind of shit. Yo, speak on because he's busting his ass. You okay. can speak on your new artist. You say you went in with a new cat. Who's is this your artist that you with, or is this just some one of your homies? Like, because I heard you had yeah, a yeah, new it's artist. An artist. It's, an, it's an artist Dre fell in love with. I can't say his name. We well, don't say his Dre name. Don't like his name. We gonna have to okay. rename him. Uh, we'll talk about you know, it later. So. We'll but can talk you, can about you it tell later. us anything about you know the vibe or what we gonna what we gonna hear? Like what? What should we look out for? Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a cold blooded, really wordy, twenty three year old white kid. Okay. From Texas, that stuff, that soul foot in the motherfucker. So he's a he's a he's a singer or is he a rapper? rapper. rapper. He's a rapper. He's shit. He's a rapper, but he but he, he got, Smith. He it got one Smith. of them things that he, he's melodic with his shit. Put it like this. And he's a lyricist. Put it like, put it like this. He impressed DLC. Yeah, so I there can dig you it. Go. And it takes a lot to impress you, Doc, because a lot of people don't know you've actually penned a lot of the hits that we've heard, and and you know everybody knows that you you know you wrote on like what. And but a G thing and NWA and, starting and, to be getting easy. But, but just just uh, run off run off some of the records. All you got to do is pick a all you got to do is pick a single. I wrote on it. There it is. Is that right? It was it was it a thing where you were always just in the studio and you just like you were the first one like I got something for that I got something for that or did they specifically like Doc we need you in the studio to, to rock all the above yeah man that was, that was uh, my all, job all of the yeah, above all of the above you right Law. all of the above. Yeah. It, right. it, 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 yeah, you right. It was a hit making culture back then. Yeah, I already know. And then yeah. you know, me myself, me being a writer and someone who I'm 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 such a student of hip hop that, you know, I, I, I listen to, to music and I can hear when somebody wrote something. So tell me if I'm if I'm wrong when I listen to certain things. Like did you write Dre's verse on Express Yourself? No, that's not cute. cute. Oh, the whole song is not cute. That whole song is cute? Yeah. But okay, so yeah. give me give me some of the ones that you that you did real quick. Just run it up. Uh, always in it something. Right. Uh, we want easy. Mm -hmm. Easier said than done. 
time. Uh, uh, they versus on a couple of the guys versus on the grand finale. Uh, I, I remember. Uh, I remember you happened on the same gang. You was everywhere. You was every every time it was something needed to be wrote. Everybody was you know there, but but everybody didn't come come up and finish like how you did. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So Doc Doc was Doc is is. And, and if you read the credits, the credits right. are deceiving. Yeah. Doc is on everything. I know he was. I know he was. So, Doc, I'm, I want to ask you something in this because you, you're the only guy that I know personally that I know that I can ask this. And you you have a you have a child with Erica Badu, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. we have a daughter named Puma. She's my favorite thing ever. Okay. So you guys were together for a while. And I'm just wondering because... It's a lot of cats, you know what I mean, that you hear. Like, once they get with Badu, they start wearing sandals and <laughs> stupid. wearing the special oils. Did she have you doing that shit? Because, like, stupid. is the, is the pussy yeah, like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was wearing Bob Molly. Like, like, I was wearing like you had Bob Molly. Shit. Yeah, uh, she did. <laughs> 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 she, had you, she had you going, uh, dreadlocks <laughs> in your pubic hair. You know what I'm saying, bud? I was wearing, I was wearing red, like, green Bob Molly crochet uh, cut, cut off. Yeah, it was, it was ugly for me. So she had that Yaman yeah, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, hold on, man. Hold on. Now, slow down, kids. Slow down. <laughs> I was just man, saying, man. man. I mean, I, I, Doc, I apologize, a, Doc. A, I will talk about that later, Doc. She's a beautiful motherfucking woman with a beautiful spirit. That's what it's oh, I know, I know she. I know she is. I know she is. She do a thing. But... I fuck him up later, Doc. Yeah, yeah, he gonna put. I got you, he Doc. Go, he gonna, uh, he gonna right rice me a little later. It's all good. So, Doc, man, it's I appreciate- two, three elevators around this motherfucker. <laughs> me and Mug gonna go see him all for that old shit, Doc. I got you. I appreciate you calling, okay, Doc. Okay, I appreciate you. And we definitely gotta get up before we get out of hey, town. Hey, hey, I'll see. I see you soon, dude. I appreciate you, man, for this, man. He asked me come right, in, yeah, guest host. I called you. You, you stand up, motherfucker. I appreciate you, yep. dude. Yeah, let's get up. Y'all get back, get back in there with Drake. You know, I love you too, man. Get back in there and make some motherfucking hits, dude. That's what I'm saying. And tell, all right, tell Doc I said what up. Tell Dre I see him later, man. Peace. While we wait for Cocaine to call back, um, I want to ask you about the beginning. Of NWA because you was there from the very beginning, and I know you seen you kind of seen the levels of it. You know what I mean? You seen it from the start of it, then you seen it kind of morph into where cats started breaking off, and then you seen like the whole new wave of dudes. You know, starting with um, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and I wasn't there. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, even though you weren't there, you were still still associated. You know what I mean? Even when it broke broke up. So just kind of give give the audience a feel for what it was like and how how the whole thing came together. Like, tell me, even though I know how the pieces came together, how everybody met, and, and the role that you played in the whole situation. It, it, it really just was a generic situation. Like um, people um, brought together for like common interest in music, and, and um, NWA wasn't like a. Our ruthless wasn't like a, a game plan and no shit. Like motherfuckers sat down and said, "This is what we gonna do. Then we gonna do this, and this gonna happen." Yeah. None of that shit happened because if, if anybody know the history of the shit, um, boys in the hood was being sold out of niggas' trunks. Okay. So you don't start selling records out of your trunk if you think you finna be the shit. So, so that was, uh, it so was it was generic. It was generic. It was homegrown. Uh, a bunch mm-hmm. of niggas, and we just figured it out as we went. That's why the shit last how it lasts, because it wasn't no big grand plan. You know what I'm saying? So you it was knew a moment e- in time. It was a moment in time. All of us was, you know what I'm saying, on the same page. You knew Easy before Dre? No. Okay. So I, I, I knew Dre before Easy. You knew Dre first? Yeah. And because then- Dre cousin stayed down the street from me. Okay. And, and Dre used to um, dance at halftime uh, when I played football for Fremont. And, um, me and my brother ran the streets back then. So Dre was he breakdancer or pop locker? Uh, both, and uh, uh, really pop locking and shit. Okay. Um, but um, he knew he knew of me, but he didn't know me. And then when I got uh, in music and shit through Lonzo, through McCola, through McCola, through to Lonzo, uh, he introduced me to Dre. And then I was like, oh man, I, I know this cat. You know, this is the cat that be dancing at halftime, and his cousin stay down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a comfort level a little bit with me and Dre. And um, 
Um, I met Cube and um, KD and Jinx and Lonzo and Yella, um, clientele, all at the same time. I met everybody at the same time. So, I mean, Ru- Ruthless was like, um, to me, mm-hmm. it was like the, the ruins of Crew Cut. Crew Cut Records, uh, Lonzo mm-hmm. label Crew Cut had um, Dre signed the Crew Cut. He had Cube signed the Crew Cut. He had Michelle Lay signed the Crew Cut. And I was affiliated with Crew Cut. Okay. Um, so that, that's that's Ruthless Foundation. Yellow was signed to Crew Cut. All right. Right there. That's Ruthless Foundation at Crew Cut Records. Crew Cut fell apart. Easy picked it up, called it Ruthless, and kept it moving. That's Ruthless Records. Okay, speaking of that, we finally got cocaine back on the line. What's up, Coca? So let's pull it back. Let's pull it back. All right. All right. Coca, Coca, what it do? What it do? Man, man, man. Hey, man, you know, don't ask Coconut that stupid shit like you did, Doc. Man. I already oh, got to repair one motherfucking oh, man. relationship. I, right. I, 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 I apologize <laughs> for uh, having you on hold, Cocaine. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, kid. But what it do, man? You know, how you feeling? You, are you are you um, you back up, up north in, like, uh, Seattle, right? Yeah, I'm back up north, you know. Just where the cops are at, chilling with the family and... uh. You know, Law gave me a call. We've been talking about coming on the show, so I appreciate you having me on. I appreciate you coming, you homie. We, we threw this together. Right. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Now, you just had a – didn't yeah. you just have a show this past weekend out here in L.A.? No, that well, was – Well, I've been out here fast. just, uh, you know, networking. We had a couple of things going on. Okay. But, you know, I've run my company called Buddy Boy Entertainment. It's oh. an independent label, and it's doing pretty good. Okay, tell us about it. You got a new project coming out? You got a new artist? What's up with that? Yeah, we got a bunch of artists, man. It's like, shout out to the old Buddy Boy Squad. It's everybody. You know, man. we've been doing a lot of stuff. You know, DJ King, Shaz, and Big Measy, the whole squad. And plus, we got that, we, we started this thing, taken from the concept. My boy TST, who's a producer and with the Buddy Boy Entertainment. And it's called UIPM. It stands for Unity is Power Movement. So it's a combination of like different coalitions, you know, big ups to the nerve DJs and it is what it is, man, because at the end of the day, you know, you have unity, you got power. I can dig it. So we were earlier, we were talking a little while ago about just the um, the origins of Ruthless Records. And I know you came in, you came in with law and above the law. And I know that, you know, you had, you know, the, the whole, all right, you know, the, like the whole funkadelic. I'm, I'm going to tell, yeah. tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to 100 with you. All right, yeah, yeah. Co- um, above the law, one eighty seven um, brought um, cocaine to my attention, mm-hmm. and and we did that first record. Cocaine was just pure, just lyrics and just uh, just a motherfucking talent to work with. And then after that first record, he kind of like found his groove. And like as you said, he started doing all right, y'all. When he started doing that, right, that was the first crack in the motherfucking foundation for G Funk. It wasn't named. Then niggas started making beats and started feeling that little funk shit because we was trying to have our own identity. Right. Hutch, Hutch, Hutch found a vein. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But with All Right, y'all, that that little statement with Sweet Talk is the start of G-Funk. Yeah. You can say what you want. Yeah, I was, we was, I was we there. Was, we was on the start. I brother. named it. We was just, those are the days, <laughs> you know saying, money B, that you already know of the jukebox, when the jukebox is cracked. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was when West Coast was really breaking wide <laughs> open. And it was just, you know, we was doing the type of music, just funk. <laughs> you know, Law come swoop up in the Cherokee. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We'd go to Paul and put Cherokee. these demos. And right. then, you know, he was really the first one that that, that, that made me a, a constant smoke for a week. Wow. Did you fall, Law? Wow. <laughs> I can't even smoke in the studio. Hey. The Money B last then, studio, I smoked blessed, it out and kicked man. him out. We would just do good music, not thinking that the impact. That the name yeah. G Funk would have an impact on the whole globe. Man. Well, I just remember, like, back in the day, man, you had such a great, it was a, your energy. You know what I mean? You just you just always bought that energy whenever we was in the studio. It's still the same way. You feel me? You was just a live yeah. character. And I and I, and I kind of think that, you know, other cats, and, you know, not to really put nobody out there, but I, in my personal opinion, I feel like a few cats, like, kind of copied, you know, and, and even though, it was similar to like you know like Star Child you know Parliament Funkadelic but in hip hop yeah. a lot of cats kind of few cats mimic your your style and did you take right. that as like damn they bite my shit or did you take it as oh it's well, a compliment well back then 
Yeah. Back then, brother, to tell you the truth, it was like, yeah, hell yeah, you take concepts and different other things, mm -hmm. but understanding through the experience in the industry, somebody get it from somewhere. It's just well, like James said. Brown. You know, George Clinton and Bootsy got it from James Brown, and before then, he got it from the church and different other things. And music, especially as a black art form and hip hop, and mm -hmm. we, the inventors of all this music, it's time for us to inspire each other. So at this point, you know, it's the biggest form of flattery. But it's only one cocaine regardless. Right. And then I, I remember, I also remember back then, it was a big controversy, controversy I should say, behind your name being cocaine. <laughs> so the, your, your album had to be called What's My Name. Yeah, or, they, they wouldn't. What they, was it called? What's My Name or What Is My Name? What was it? It's it was who, called, am who am I? Who am I? Yeah, who am I? Snoop they, used the thing, who am I, yeah. too. What's my name? And, yeah. yeah. You know, they that was the concept that. because they was afraid. They was afraid you know, of cocaine. You know, they were scared, name, you know. Man. Yeah, I don't want to say no names at Epic Records, but they all you know they was Kenny they was shitting on themselves. So yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he so got when scared they, and shit, when they, and he well, called me and told me I can't put like, cocaine well, name on the you? album. They was looking for cocaine. So so, so what you know, I did. It was a whole revelation of that shit, but I, you know, that didn't that didn't dis discourage me. I just kept kept it up because first of all, I'm passionate about music right. because I come from a musical background. My dad wrote exactly. He, Tell me your props is. Was a Rolling Stone, exactly. Smiling Faces. You know what I'm saying? So oh, what? that yeah. type of movement was already in. And, and then when I met time. through law and, and, and the buzz of law situation, brother, okay, it's just like being Jordan. Jordan would be Jordan without Phil Jackson. Those was my Phil Jackson or Scotty Pippen, if you ask me. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, nah, they nah, made us, they made us I would be. <laughs> they, they didn't make us. I thought of. I used the formula of cocaine, the, the right. scientific formula. We put that on there. We still want to put the name on there, so we just used the scientific yeah. formula of cocaine. Put it on there. Called it. Who am I? Didn't fight him, but yeah, because I was looking for cocaine. Him like yeah. a motherfucker, man. And then it's like when he came out, I was like, I knew who you was, but I was like, wow, it's not. They on headed the every step. They headed. They headed every yeah. step. They headed uh, every step, man. Yeah. I can dig it. Yeah. Well, well, cocaine. Let me let me ask you as far as like new artists that's out. Who you rocking with right now? Oh man, a lot. Of, you know, I have to plead the fifth on that. You know, I'm in tune to the youngsters because us is old. Geez, we got a hand of the time down still. Right. And you're never too old to continue to make good records. So all that bullshit is out the window. But you know, a lot of shit, man. I just be listening to old school because I don't like to clog my brain with things that really don't complement my music exactly. and, and stuff. I don't have no problem people knocking their hustle. Exactly. You know, any black man, I don't care if you can trap and this and that. If it's a way for you to get out together or feed your family, I'm with it. But the music that I come from is that it's, it's good old-fashioned music. Music with substance. I ain't, I'm not staying in my lane because it's too much bumper-to-bumper traffic. Nah, I could dig it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm the same way, but I, I, I kind of keep my ears open and couple of young cats like I like I am Sue I listen to him right. uh, and, right. and it's no disrespect cause you know nice, you know I do my music but you know a lot of times man I, I reflect on family okay. you know they call me Coca Hush you know I got a wife I'm pick up to my <laughs> wife and my eight children by that one woman Right. so at the end of the day you gotta have some type you, we all know that we gotta have some type of that family stability right. to last in this game you know what I'm saying so us as OGs be able to get that good game to the young there it is well Coke um we gotta we gotta take a break and, 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 and get out of here. So real, real quick, quick the um, name of the new album. Tell us the name of the new album and how they can find you on social media. Oh, the name of my new album is simple. It's called Shut the Fuck, fuck up. up and Cut the Check. After you've been check. working for eons, ain't no more talking. Hear all that bullshit. Check, Shut the fuck up it's and cut the check. Right now and Words. be on the lookout for his new single. It's called Chicago. It's dropping in three weeks. It's talking about the problems that's going on in Chicago and all over the USA. Okay. So support that one. That's produced by me. Okay, and if they want to find you? You can find me at Cocaine Official. If you need to holler at me about some business, you already know. Get it to Hookmaster at K-O-K-A-N-E Official. That's at Cocaine Official. Mm -hmm. And you already know. Hit one of the team up. You can follow Justify, DJ King the Seth. It's the whole team. Whenever you see hashtag UIPM, e that's Unity is Power Movement. Get involved with it. You did? That's what's up. It's good. Well, man, I appreciate you taking the time to come on the show. And uh, I'm going to highlight you, especially Thanks, when Coco, I come man. up your way. Appreciate For that. Sure. Much love. Y'all know y'all my brothers. I love y'all. That's what it do. There it is. 
And then, Layla, we got, we got somebody else in the studio, man. Why don't you introduce your family over there? Uh, it's, it's my folks, man. Yeah, give I'm us out my way. Um, here, young up and coming. I'm a rapper from Nae. What it do? What it from do? From Nae? Yeah. Where at Nae? Lake Elsinore, to be exact, you know. Lake Elsinore. Yeah, now. yeah. He's part of that, um, um, the, the new young cats that, um, that's, that's trying to get it in him. Um, um, go get us. Yeah. Um, um, that's the activities. You like, got them hydro young now. cats like that. Okay, yeah. speaking of Lake Elsinore, um, me and my man, um, cool boy from the West Coast Pop Lockers, we actually have an um, MC battle that's I'll happening. This September 19th, which I believe is next Friday. Is that a Friday? The 19th. I, I can't count. It's going to be on the 19th, whatever day it's that is. It's on the 19th. September 19th. You got Lake something in Elsinore your hand with a calendar in it. At uh, PK Roadhouse. That's on Grand Ave. Yeah, the 19th is next Friday. Friday. So, you know, what's, what's some of the cats that we should expect to see? Like, what's the uh, I'm going to be there, there, of course. You know, uh, okay. the go getter is supposed to be there, of course. Um, cool Boy and his team, the, the West Coast Pop Loggers, they're going to be out there. It's a lot of cats. I really don't know who's signing up, but I know the coldest cats is the people that me, Layla, you know what I mean? We bring it out there. So, I mean, other, yeah, and other and than that, I mean, and even if you're not, is the judge. Yeah, yeah and, I, and, I, and I'm the judge, so, you know, I, I like that real shit, so I'm going I'm to judge it fairly. So, if you but, ain't um, signed up yet, you know what I'm saying? And if you're in the you area, even days. if you're not um, signing up, just come out and enjoy the night, man, because it's going to be a party. It's going to be cool, man. It's the real. Cool Boy MC West Coast Rap Battle. Judged by your boy Money B, and once again, it's at the PK Road House and, uh, on Grand Ave in Lake Elsinore. You know what I mean? And if you wanna, if you wanna, if you actually wanna sign up, you know, hit me on all social media at MoneyB69. Um, cool boy. You don't, you don't have to be just from that area. If you willing to come on and participate, come on out and get down. You got bars. If you spitting, you know if you doing anything, just come out and just see what, see what the talent is like. And, and we're gonna be, a, we're gonna just gonna have a, a good time. Now another event that I'm doing. If you're closer to um, Los Angeles and in the, the the valley, you know we got the the fallback fashion live show is at Rain Nightclub and it's going to be hosted by Razcast and it's going to be a fashion designers, you know, um, showing their lines. It's going to be a performance by Lori Moore, a new artist, young up and coming artist. But come out and have fun with us, Rain Nightclub in Studio City, and that's September 21st. Brought to you by my man. JS Global Entertainment and your boy Money B. I D was um, coming. What? I D was coming by today. D. D. Big D wasn't he supposed to come? Oh, Big D. Yeah, Dion. He was supposed to be here. I don't know what happened. You know, he, he was gonna surprise us and come through, but he didn't. Yo, yo. <laughs> so look. Speaking, speaking on that battle rap that yeah. you got, um, I fucks with um, Fresh Coast Media. Um, and film on TV. Okay. Um, we're sponsoring, um, and it's in adjacent with Law House Media Group. Right. We're sponsoring um, a huge, 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 huge um, battle rap between Cassidy okay. and Disaster. It's coming up in December. Um, it's going to be in Santa Monica at the Hangar. Um, look, look out for it. It's, 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 it's some real shit. Yeah, you already know. Just on the names I said. They, they get down. And they when get is down it? that battle run. When is it? I, I want to say December seventh. I don't have it in front of me, but I know it's in December. It's okay. gonna be in Santa Monica. It's, it's gonna be a lot of promotion on it. Um, Alki David is behind it. With, uh, they got holograms TV. out there. Uh, not this time, but we did do a hologram in the um, in the press conference with our Fresh okay. Coast Media. Nice. We did a Cassidy hologram. That shit came out tight. I got a hologram, my nigga. I oh, I know. I see it. I, yeah, I know you got your. I want my I hologram. hologram. <laughs> so, real quick, hologram. let everybody know where they can find you on, on all social media. <laughs> and yeah, you as well. You can find me on my hologram. My uh, motherfucking hologram. <laughs> you can find me at hologram. Yo, um, <laughs> Go ahead, Law. Twitter, uh, Law House Records, L A W H O U S C Records, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. Just set up Lay Law and, and uh, do what it do. It's funny because he always sound like the record. Is Layla. Fuck that. <laughs> Greatest hits coming out next year. Book coming out next year. App coming out right. next year. Soundtrack, all type of shit. It's Chuck like crazy. It, it get, we get it in. I about to run the game for a minute, huh? Go ahead, we tell them. We do. Tell them what you, what, what, uh, what you can find me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is Wes Goody. That's uh, Wes G W O D Y, like Sam Goody. 
Right. I'm in there and out there. You know, I get down with law. My young homie, hot. He's hot. Man. He's hot. All right, you got any new projects that. that they need to look out for? I got the West Good Bar dropping. Um, mixtape? Mixtape. Yeah. About to drop in about maybe a month. I'm, I'm working up the last little things in the studio, lacing up little production scenes and like that. I'm getting the stutters and everything in. It's about to drop real soon. his features. It's, he, Man. It's, it's good. I got YG no, Hootie yeah, on there. I got Lazy good. Bone on there. Layla got my features did you, uh, coming. Did you holler at uh, Compton AV when he was out there? I'm about to. I think he might have left, <laughs> but he hey, was just out there. I need to. You should have. You, you know. leave. I like. I like. I like. The, I, like the, I like. I like the youngsters to, to network and get yes. it in. Speaking of that, you know, y'all check for my new artist, Lil Mikey the Money Boy. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. You know, he's doing his thing on some real. You know. Some real. Real. Yeah, on some real. Real. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's real. On some real. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> so saying. get ready. It's real. Um, obviously, you find me on all social media at MoneyB69. Make sure you like the Going Way Back Show Facebook page. Um, follow this show specifically on Twitter at Going Way Back Show. Be sure to subscribe to the Going Way Back Show YouTube channel. Nice. And until next time, people. I got your job, Tanya. Be easy. I got your job, Tanya. Love you. I'm in your job, Tanya. I got your job. Look at me. I got your job, Tanya. Yeah. It's the Going Way Back Show with Money B. Classic hip-hop, raw and uncut. Thanks for visiting the Going Way Back Show channel. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and click that like button.